Hey y'all, welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. As you can probably tell from my most recent videos, I am very much longing for the garden. Even though we are very much in the throes of winter, I am ready to get in the garden. I'm ready for gardening season. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for sunshine and warmth. Um, we very much do not have that right now. It has been quite cold. Uh, actually, Saturday, the, the wind chill is supposed to be in the negative teens. Um, so it has been awfully cold. But I want a garden and I'm ready for it and I'm excited for gardening and I'm really starting to think about all my gardening goals. Um, I have a couple of really big gardening goals this year and I think they're achievable, but it's still gonna, it's gonna take work. Um, my number one gardening goal is to stay on top of my garden. And that means mostly staying on top of weeding because if you've been here for a while, you know that's been a struggle for me. We are gonna use a couple things to help with that, um, we are going to use some woven weed fabric on plants that we're able to. Um, and we are also getting an attachment for our lawnmower um, that it goes like behind it and it basically picks up all the grass clippings as we go. We mow about an acre to an acre and a half and that's a lot of grass clippings, which is great mulch for the garden. Um, it'll go around potatoes, it'll go around squash plants, it'll go around carrots once they're large enough. Um, you know, it'll go around things to help keep the soil moist and suppress weeds. So that is my biggest goal is staying on top of, staying on top of the weeds, staying on top of things so that my garden can produce. Plants cannot produce when they're being choked out by weeds. And believe me, I have struggled with this big time and I've seen the basically effects of not staying on top of weeding. My garden really has struggled the past couple years. This past year, I really produced very little. I produced tons of tomatoes and tons of beans, and that was about it. Everything else struggled so badly. Um, and so I need to stay on top of things so that that doesn't happen again and I can actually harvest food and preserve food and all those things. So let's take a walk out to the garden even though it's bitterly cold. We're gonna take a walk outside and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the changes we're gonna to do to the layout, which will help optimize our food production. We are trying very hard to grow as much of our own food as we possibly can. We realize how, um, oh, big deer walk through the yard. <laughs> Relying on the current food system is not great. Not the safest thing in the world. Um, we definitely don't want to be stuck relying completely on our food system the way it is. And so the more we can produce here on our homestead, um, just the better off we are and the little bit safer we feel. So in the past, we have mowed or weed whacked around our garden space inside even. We haven't tilled up to the fences other than a few spots. Actually, over there, we till pretty much up to the garden fence. Um, and some of the things, some of the areas we can't because we have fruit things planted. Um, I currently have a strawberry bed over here. I have raspberries. Um, there's a couple cranberry plants and then some blueberries. We also have some Rosa Sharon over there, um, which I'm probably going to remove. But this year, because honestly, we don't need more space to weed whack and mow and everything else. Um, this is all gonna get cleaned out. This compost bucket, as long as I can find the other part of the lid, it's gonna go to my parents because we don't actually use that one. We just have compost piles. We're gonna weed whack, or I'm sorry, we're gonna till all along here. Um, the strawberry bed is actually gonna go away as well because that bed is just, it's not great. Um, all along this fence area is going to be our strawberry bed. We are going to, I ordered 100 June bearing um, bare root strawberry plants, which they will all go here and this will be a permanent bed. Um, and it'll obviously, they'll expand, they'll grow, they'll send off daughter plants and things. Um, but this is gonna be that so that we can have jam and all of our plants, um, all of our strawberries producing all at once. Currently I have mostly ever bearing and you get like one strawberry a week from each plant, which obviously you can't preserve or do anything with other than snack on and they're delicious. They're fun to have some everbearing for that reason, but uh, I, I, we'd have to have thousands of plants to actually get any amount to do anything with. Um, our rows have always gone this way, which doesn't really make sense because then we're going downhill and all the water just runs the down the rows. So we are gonna have them go this way now. Um, all of our rows are gonna go that way. They're gonna go a little bit past our garden gate here. They're gonna go a little ways. They're gonna be about 70 foot rows. Um, 
and this section is going to be all um, tomatoes, beans, peppers, those kinds of things. Over here, this whole area is going to be half will be potatoes and half is going to be winter squashes um, or vining things. Watermelon I'm probably going to put over here too just because so it can vine out and I'm going to space them out nicely. This has also been a grassy area. Um, my daughter's little garden bed here. We're going to move that over to kind of by the garden gate. And this whole area is going to be tilled up other than in front. It'll go into the point of being in front of um, our little gate where we can bring the tractor in. And that is going to be my kid's garden. And they are very excited about planting their own little garden. Now my daughter's always had this little thing, um, but she can only grow a few things in it. And my kids like gardening. They like they like the food more than anything else. They like eating the stuff. Um, my daughter loves the actual gardening process. My son likes to eat it. And they've requested a couple things. They want to grow some watermelon. They want to grow some cantaloupe, cucumelons, um, lemon cucumbers. My daughter really likes the spoon tomatoes, which I that was in this this bed last year. Um, she loved those. So and maybe some cherry tomatoes for my son. So they're gonna grow their own little garden here, um, and that is 100% for them to manage and take care of. That'll be their garden, and they can do whatever they want. Um, the rows of Sharon's that are down there, they were given to me, um, by my husband's aunt and they're beautiful and I love them. Um, but I'm going to move them. I'm not going to kill them. I'm just going to move them out of the garden. I'm going to dig them up and move them to a different spot on our property. Not hundred percent sure where I'm going to move them yet, but I'm going to move them somewhere else. And I'd like to get some more blueberry plants down there. Um, they take years to produce and... So we need to get them in now if we want to ever have blueberries on our on our farm. We've had a few occasionally, um, but we want to get, you know, I want to have more. Oh, more fruit is important. Um, so we are going to get a load of compost. We're going to get 18, it's an 18 cubic yard load or about 18 cubic yard um, that will get spread throughout this whole thing. We have never added that much compost, um, but I think the garden needs it, which all of that is just going to help produce more food and healthier food. Um, and then hopefully we'll have a big harvest that we can put up for the year. Um, I have a lot of canning goals this year and preservation goals, but that's a whole nother, a whole nother video. <laughs> I don't even, I have a, my list of last year from last year and I never actually looked to see if I hit those goals. So I'm going to have to look back and see, um, what I want to expand on, what I want to change a little bit. I know there's a lot of things we didn't produce ourselves this year and we didn't produce any winter squash. Um, we didn't produce, I mean, we didn't produce like any cucumbers. There was a lot of things we didn't this year. So we have a lot, a lot of work to do. Um, and I have big goals and I'm very excited for it. I'm ready to garden, but for now I'm going to go back, sit by the fireplace because I'm freezing. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Remember we're going today. For a better tomorrow, please like and subscribe and join me on the next one.